Hi there, today we'll see how to install Anglefish web browser. That's a new web browser based on Qt, uh, on Qt 5.15 for Selfish OS and solve some problems we have with the Yola Stock browser. So first of all, you have to to log in to log in with your YOLA account. This is important because I've tried another time without the YOLA account and later it complained about some QT missing or whatever. So that's the first thing to do. Then you have to enable uh, not trusted software installation. This is important. You have to put your um, security code and this will um, let you install the RPM of Chom. Then you have to search on Google. You have to search Chom as uh, as uh, selfish OS, you know, as F O S. And the second, this this web page. It's a very simple guide, and you have to select there your selfish OS, uh, OS version so 4.5.0.9.19 then depending on your device if you have the Xperia 10 it's 32 bit or 64 if you have a uh, 10, uh, 10 mark 2 and 10 mark 3 you have to select this art 64 or this if you are running on thir uh, 32-bit device. Then after download it, you have to download this uh, to uh, guy and you have to press it and install. When you have done this, it will say successful install it. Install it. You have to Press it and wait until it refresh and retrieve, retrieve the, the current detail. Then it's very easy in application. <coughs> you will find Anglefish web browser. And this, doing that, I've already installed. So you have to pull down and select install. What are the benefits of Anglefish? Well, I'll show you very quickly. You see from Qt uh, LM5 test, you see that this is the default browser of Yola and it scores that. And this is Anglefish, so it has better uh, support and it's, it's running on newer Qt um, QT uh, libraries so you can expect some better compatibility with websites and um, you see this is not very <coughs> very um, evident here because the, the default browser is doing a good job but the default browser sometimes has a memory problems and it uh, crash sometimes for example, this Visual Studio Visual Studio Code page um, causes the default browser to crash due to some memory leaks or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, it is not present here and it's running perfectly. And in addition to that, you have also some other features, uh, like you see the private mode and in settings. It will support uh, for ad block, but it's not st uh, yet implemented. It's implemented yet, so it's um, work in progress yet. And you see that it's coming from uh, KDE Plasma Mobile, and you very, uh, in, it's very noticeable. But it's not a bad thing. And uh, okay, I can't stop <laughs> anyway. That's it.
hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon. Guys, I forgot how to resize Anglefish. The first time you open it, you'll see that it is running on a very very large DPI and see that I'm already running. You see how big the enterprise enterprise looks. It's actually too big and make things not fitting in the screen. So all you have to do is go in here in Qt Runner. That's an application that comes with Anglefish when you install it. And in <coughs> default settings, you have to select override DPI and then select sometime something like uh, this and select apply and now you can also close it you can close it you, you don't have to keep it open and now you see that it actually is smaller you see it's all smaller and uh, the DPI is uh, now fitting better in the screen and that's better.